Bopping Cuties. I got a new video for you today. Uh, it's a quick tutorial. I actually, um, Kyler Holland put out a handheld tutorial for Premiere yesterday. And that gave me, that inspired me to make one for Final Cut because it's actually like super easy. It's like a drag and drop effect on Final Cut, but I don't know if everyone knows about it, so I kind of just figured I'd throw this little video together to show you how to do that in Final Cut versus how he did it in Premiere. So let's hop into Final Cut, and I'm actually going to be using this video to demonstrate. So let's hop in and get the tutorial rolling. All right, so we are in Final Cut, and before I begin this tutorial again, I would like to say that this is not my idea. Uh, I got this from Kyler Holland, and I'm just making this to help out Final Cut users and also show like the big difference in Premiere than Final Cut, because in his video, he nested clips and used warp stabilizer and stuff. In Final Cut, it's like just straight up a drag and drop effect, and it works. So that's what I want to show today. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get into this. So I have the clip here and I'm just using like the intro clip that I used for the video. And what I'm going to do is, there's two ways to do it. You can just go down here to the search bar and search up handheld, or you can go down to stylize, scroll down to, where is it, handheld. And then you're just straight up just gonna drag it on the clip and it does it for you. So let's watch that back real quick and see how it looks. Alright, so you can see the shakiness. You can also come up here to the effects and change the shakiness if you want to. Um, just like as an example, let's play this back real quick. Now, obviously that's too much, so I would never use that much. Usually, typically when I use handheld, I just use the uh, 2030 uh, settings that are with the effect already. But let's just watch this back, this clip back real quick without the effect on it just to show you. And then I'll turn the effect on while it's playing. And as you can see, it adds that shake. And what's nice about the handheld effect is what Kyler said in his video was it adds a, a feeling that someone else is in the room with you recording you and it's not just like on a still tripod. So the best way to use this is with a tripod. You just throw your camera on a tripod, film something, and you can um, throw the handheld feature on and you're good to go. In his video, he also used a slider. I don't have a slider, so I just used it. Um, I just use my tripod. But if you want to, you can also keyframe um, like zooms or slides or whatever. And yeah, so that's all for the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm gonna try to make more videos this summer. Uh, for you guys, more tutorials, uh, maybe vlogs, I have no idea, but yeah, so thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, like the video, if you like it, comment down below what you would like to see next, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video, peace.